Hello and welcome. This is Rajit Khan and you're watching my YouTube channel. This video is for those students who will prepare for their GCSE Physics Triple Science exam. The exam board is at Excel. Now for this exam, you'll have to complete two papers. On paper one, you'll be tested from the first seven topics. These topics have been listed for your information here. Now the first topic is a common topic to paper one and paper two. So the concepts from the first topic, which is called key concepts here, you will need to know these concepts in order to do well on both papers. Let us have a quick look at the topic called key concepts. To do well on both papers, there are three skills from this topic that you must all know. I've given you a diagram here. You must have seen similar diagrams in your maths for unit conversion, right? The only exception here is I have used letter X here. I'm generalizing it because you will all need to convert different units. So X could be any unit from your specification. Now, here are some of the units which have been listed for your information. There are more than these, but these are the most common ones that you all must know. I've highlighted four of them, one, two, three, and four. They may ask you about these in specific, what are these for? So you need to remember, Hertz is for the frequency, Coulombs is for charge, VQ is for the activity, and Tesla is for magnetic field. There's another diagram for unit conversion, and this is only for time. So if you need to convert hours into minutes, you'll multiply that by 60 and so on. The second skill that you all need to know is describing graphs. In your exam, there will be questions where they'll ask you to describe the relationship between the variable on y-axis and the variable on x-axis. Now, there's a general rule. What you need to say is one mark will be for stating when x increases, what happens to the value of y. If it increases, you can say it goes up. If it decreases, you can say it goes down. The second one will be, you will say again, as x increases, what happens to the gradient? What happens to the gradient. Now to assist you with this section here, I have given you a key here. You can see here, if a line is horizontal, then it will have a zero gradient. If a line is going upwards, then it will have a positive gradient. If a line is going downwards, then it will have a negative gradient. And there's one more thing to remember. If it is a straight line graph, then the gradient will remain constant. If it is not a straight line graph, then the gradient will change. Okay. The last skill that you need to know is calculations from graphs. Now, any question that comes on graphs or whenever you are given a graph in physics exam, you must always perform two checks. Check one says you will divide whatever the variable is on y-axis with a variable on x-axis. And whatever quantity you get to calculate this quantity, you will use this formula. You will do the second check. You will multiply y, whatever the variable on y-axis is, with the variable on x-axis. Once you multiply them to whatever quantity you get here, you will work out this quantity by using area equation. Now, there are two equations that you must all know. One is how to work out the area of rectangle, and the other one is how to work out the area of triangle. These are the three main skills that you will need to know from key concepts uh, for all other topics on your specification. So while you're preparing for the other topics, I definitely recommend that you keep this information on you. Now, before you start your final exam in the exam hall, I again recommend that you produce this information on one of the blank pages in your paper booklet and then refer to this information as and when you will need. I hope you will find this video useful. I wish you all very good luck with your exam preparation. Thank you.